Hello, I'm Stephen Holmes, a Master Certified Technician at Keystone RV Company. Today we're going to show you how to manually override your landing gear and your slide outs in case of a power failure. If 12 volt power is unavailable, your Keystone RV has a manual override system. Always chalk the tires to prevent the trailer from moving before accessing the underside of the RV. Let's start with the landing gear. Access for the override is located either on the door side or the off door side in line with the landing gear. It may also be through an access hole or inside the front compartment door. A crank handle has been supplied with your RV. It may be located in an outside compartment or in a storage area inside the unit. Insert the crank handle into the override tube. Align the notch in the end of the crank handle with the pin at the end of the override shaft. Turn the crank handle and observe the landing gear to see whether it is extending or retracting. Next, we will show the override for the hydraulic slide rooms. Locate the slide out hydraulic pump. On fifth wheel models, the pump will be located in one of the front storage compartments. On travel trailer models, the pump will be located under the floor behind the front cross member. The manual override is located on the end of the pump motor. On some models, the access to the end of the pump motor may be through an adjoining storage compartment. Attach a quarter inch hex fitting to the end of the motor. Attach the other end to the ratchet or a drill. Turn in the proper direction to move the room as needed. Now we will show you how to manually operate a slide room with an electric actuator. Locate the slide-out actuator under the slide-out room. The actuator will have a gold-colored stop can at the end of the actuator. Follow the actuator across the unit to locate the hex head crank extension at the rear of the actuator motor. The motor will be located on the end of the slide-out actuator. If the unit is equipped with an enclosed underbelly, the motor will not be visible. Locate the slide-out actuator under the slide-out room. Look across to the opposite side of the RV to locate the access panel for the motor. If a panel is present, remove the panel to access the motor. If no hole is present, cut a 6-inch square hole at the location of the access panel to allow access to the slide-out motor. If an access panel is not present, the motor will be located the same distance back from the front of the RV as the stop can. Measure in 12 inches from the outer edge of the chassis. Cut a 6 inch square opening in the underbelly leaving one edge of the opening attached. Use a ratchet with a 5 8 hex socket to turn the hex head at the rear of the motor. Rotate the nut clockwise to retract and counterclockwise to extend the slide out. Do not attempt to disengage the motor as the actuator is manual ready. Just hook up and crank. Reattach the access panel to the underbelly. If the access panel was not present, close the underbelly flap and tape the opening to close the underbelly. Locate the slide out motor. The motor will be located either above the slide, mounted to the sidewall of the RV, or below the slide out floor. It may be necessary to remove an access panel, slide room fascia, or fascia center block to locate the motor. Attach the supplied flexible quarter inch hex fitting to the end of the motor. Attach the other end to a ratchet or a drill. Turn in the proper direction to move the room as needed. If the cables tighten and the motor is difficult to turn, reverse the direction. Over torquing can happen, resulting in severe damage. Remember to chalk wheels securely to prevent movement while accessing the underside of your trailer. Always use wheel chocks made for the job. For further questions regarding your slide out and your override systems, please refer to the Keystone Owner's Manual, your dealership, or give us a call here at Keystone RV at 1-866-425-4369. This video was brought to you courtesy of Keystone RV Company, number one in RV sales in North America.